just as sunflowers chase the sun. Inductees into the South Dakota Hall of Fame chase their dreams day after day, year after year. The 700 plus inductees in the Hall of Fame come from all backgrounds and corners of our state. What their stories have in common is their unwavering courage and belief in their dreams. These dream chasers are an inspiration for us all to strive for excellence and believe in our own potential to chase dreams well into the future. 1976, at the age of 14, 2018 inductee Rod Bauer was purchased at a charity auction by Lloyd and Dolores Johnstone, then owners of KTCI. Rod continued working for the Johnstones, making his way to a management position at KTCI until 1998, at which time Rod and his family purchased KTCI from Dolores Johnstone. From there, Rod has taken his entrepreneurial spirit and created numerous business divisions for KTCI. Rod sees opportunity where others may only see loss. Rod actively recruits young people and offers to pay their technical school tuition. Rod serves on a number of local, state, and regional boards for giving back to South Dakota. What kind of advice would you give? Well, I think the big thing is, is, is hard work, dedication, and when that opportunity appears, just take a long, hard look at it. And I, I, I think sometimes you don't always recognize it. I always jokingly say, if the opportunity knocks, answer the door, you know, because they, um, there are, South Dakota's got, we've got all kinds of opportunities, and, uh, you know, just because it's a small town or whatever, they're still there. It, you just, but, you, but it's going to involve hard work and dedication and commitment and, and be willing to work. And, and when I say learn, watch others, because sometimes um, your best ideas are stolen out of you from somebody else that figured it out and, and learned the hard way so you can use their ideas so you don't make the same mistake. And so you don't have to recreate the wheel that somebody else is doing and learn from them and, and uh, simplify the process. Exactly. What characters, characteristics describe how a person can chase their dreams and impact South Dakota? Uh, hard work, determination, not afraid to learn, um, teamwork. Um, I, I think those are all all critical things. I, the hard work, and you know, in my case, I, I was taught that at home I, with my parents, and then you know, you always further it. Um, and determination. When you when you decide you want to do something, um, keep after it. You, you're you're going to make mistakes. You're going to stumble, but uh, that's how you learn. Uh, you pick yourself up, and I, I, you know, that's how, how you learn and continue on. And, uh, you know, and uh, you got to keep learning. You got to keep watching, learning. Um, you can't quit that. There's always something new on the horizon. And the teamwork, um, and the teamwork, in my mind, starts at home. Your family is, is your support mechanism, your team that supports you. And then you go to work and you pick your, your teammates there. Mm -hmm. All the businesses you had and the challenge that you, challenges that you had, did you ever think you were going to be just throwing the towel? Did something ever happen that was just so frustrating? And if there was, what was it and how did you overcome that? I, honestly, no, I don't think it ever. I mean, it, it, it might have been frustrating, but you just backed up and took another run at it and said, oh, we got to get around this. we got to figure out. That, that's the determination part, you know. Um, that it, maybe it's a little bit no take no for answer, you know. But, Okay, we'll try a different way. We'll, we'll make this work somehow. Um, it, it, and, it, you know, I, and I attribute that a lot of that to the community. I, I do look okay. in. Kennebec is a get it done town. When they want to do something, you put their mind to it, it happens. And I think that attitude just carries through. So I attribute that to the that area. What's the one thing you'd like people to know that they probably don't know about you? Well, I, I, I think. Uh, Obviously, uh, being purchased by a slave auction is kind of a unique story, but I, I think the, 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 the thing about me right now, and, and especially in my life, I get a huge passion for trying to get young people uh, to take advantage of opportunities, and most of it's towards education. I mean, I, I, I still believe you can do it the way I did it, but it's a lot of work, and um, so I like to work with young people and try to encourage them to, to get, in, get involved and, and do that, along with not just that, I, I think it's important to give back to your community, get involved in various things, whether it's the fire department, your ambulance service, your church, 
whatever. Uh, uh, there's so many needs out there, and, and, I, and I'm not talking about donate money. I'm talking about maybe there's somebody that needs a ride to the doctor. There's just somebody I'd like to find time and, and start doing more of that. Just um, that, that that's I guess 